Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome to my review of the Rokanon 14mm f2.8 lens. Now of course this is an ultra wide angle lens and you can pick this up for your Nikon or Canon DSLRs. After using this for over half a year, I'm going to be talking about some of the pros and cons and what I like about this and what I dislike about this lens. So first, let's talk about the build quality. Now this has a pretty large front element because of course this is an aspherical lens, but the overall build quality is quite solid, very sturdy. Just to give you an example, a few months ago I was taking pictures in the snow and I accidentally dropped it in the snow. After a few days, it snowed even more and then the snow began to melt and I think after five days, I went outside and guess what? My lens was right on my front yard. So after four or five days buried in the snow, it still functions perfectly. So the build quality of this lens is very similar and it's very comparable to some of the high-end, really expensive lenses from Nikon or Canon. In my opinion, this is more of a video lens simply because you have to manually focus. It doesn't have autofocus. And also you have to manually adjust the aperture. It does have an aperture ring. So this is more geared towards videographers, maybe shooting some landscape movies or videos. If you do a lot of photography, it also works quite well. I'm gonna show you some pictures later on in this video, but it just takes a bit longer to manually focus on the subject. The focus ring is also extremely smooth and it takes a bit longer to focus from the nearest object to infinity or vice versa. So I just wish that the focus ring would turn a bit faster. It's just a bit slow for me, but it's not a big deal. So this is 14 millimeter on the left, comparing it to the 35 millimeter on the right, and now comparing it to the 50 millimeter on the right and 70 millimeter on the right. So here are some pictures I took using this lens and my Nikon D600 camera. I'm gonna put these full resolution pictures in the description so you can download it or look at it on Flickr and you can zoom in to see the details. So this is definitely a very sharp lens. It does have some excellent optics in the lens, but keep in mind that this is only about $350 around that price, comparing it to the Canon or the Nikon 14 millimeter, which is over $1,500, I believe. It's definitely a very good lens for the price. And by the way, all these pictures were raw files and I color corrected and edited these pictures in Lightroom 5. So now let's move on to some videos. As you can see, the closest that you can focus is 0.28 meters, which is pretty close for a wide angle lens. And here are some videos. Uh, it looks quite nice in my opinion. With the f2.8 aperture, you do get a lot of light and some nice shallow depth of field in the background. Because this is a wide angle lens, of course, you will get some distortion on the edges. 